Welcome to this service of Holy Communion on Easter Day from St Mark's Church, Teddington, or more accurately, from the Vicarage. This is a family home and the cats may join us. We'll probably hear noises off from children playing in the gardens. But we know that God is with us. So let us pray. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ was risen graciously from the dead, crushing the power of sin and destroying the sting of death. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the mighty power of God as Christ calls us out of the darkness to share in his marvellous light. Shine, may we and all God's people shine as lights in the world to the glory of God the Father. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. So knowing that we're only human, we bring our faults and failings to God. Christ died to sin once for all, and now he lives to God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and confess our sins in penitence and faith. Like Mary at the empty tomb, we fail to grasp the wonder of your presence. Lord, have mercy. Like the disciples behind locked doors, we are afraid to be seen as followers, as your followers. Christ, have mercy. Like Thomas in the upper room, we are slow to believe. Lord, have mercy. So the absolution, the God of love and power, forgive you and free you from your sins. Heal and strengthen you by his spirit and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. So the collect for Easter day. God of glory, by the rising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned, and the way of life stands open in our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. So the first reading is from the New Testament, from Acts, chapter 10. Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is the Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear not to all people, but to us who are chosen by God as witnesses and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. 
he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God to judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him, that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness through his name. This is the word of the Lord. So our gospel. Hear the gospel of our Lord according to Matthew. After the Sabbath, on the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised. As he said, come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said greetings. They came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. So reflections for Easter Day are on our website and on our Facebook page. So let us affirm our common faith in Jesus Christ. On Easter Day, we would normally be reaffirming our baptism vows. So I've taken the affirmation of faith from what we would have said. Let us affirm our common faith in Jesus Christ. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? I believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again. I believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? I believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. So prayers. I'll leave space between each of the prayers so that you can bring your own prayers. Let us pray to the Lord who is our refuge and stronghold for the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the isolated, the shielded, the housebound, for those in hospital, that we may be alert to their needs and ours, and that we might care in our vulnerability. At this time we pray for all of those on the front line 
for those working in the NHS, for those delivering and selling our food, for the farmers, for the paramedics, for the police, for local and national government. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, for all in any kind of need or distress. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for ourselves and our communities at this time. A time of uncertainty, a time of unknowing. We give you thanks for all of the kind neighbours and friends who are supporting our local communities. We give you thanks for the wonders of technology that mean that we can meet virtually. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. So we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So the introduction to the piece, it, it's very strange to be doing this knowing that people are watching and that I can't see you. But nevertheless, the risen Christ came and stood among his disciples in a locked room and said, peace be with you. And they were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The peace of the risen Christ be always with you and also with you. And so the Eucharistic prayer. Be present, be present. Lord Jesus Christ, our risen high priest, make yourself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks, because in his victory over the grave, a new age has dawned, and the long reign of sin is ended. A broken world is being renewed, and humanity is once again made whole. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with the whole company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, 
which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this wine, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us by your love and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, God Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. God of glory, by the raising of your Son, you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope, for a new day has dawned, and the way of life stands open in our Saviour Jesus Christ. So the blessing. Pray that this day will be blessed wherever you are, whether you're at home alone, at home with others, or perhaps sharing your home with animals like Fleur, who joined us in the middle of the prayer. May the day be blessed. So God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, Give you joy as you share the Easter faith. God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you now and evermore. Amen. Have a very happy Easter.